another comedian goes by the name of Tyler Craig. Give him a round of applause, y'all. Come on. Hey, what the hell is going on? Y'all all right? Yeah. I guess I ain't got to tell you, I feel better than y'all land do. <laughs> Joke number one. <laughs> no, when you're drunk, you got to count the motherfucker. <laughs> it was the dude, right? He walk into the barber shop. The barber said, sit down how you want your hair. He said, look, at the top, I want you to cut it to the front with the waves. On the side, I want you to chop this shit up all different sizes and length till you get right here. On this side, just scrape that shit off. Don't even blend it, just scrape it off. And if you got a chance, lift my hairline up to right here. The barber said, God damn, shawty. Why the hell you want your hair like that? And he said, here, you cut it like that last time. <laughs> <laughs> now, the moral of this story is beat his ass. You hear me? You don't practice on nobody's head, because then you got to cut all your goddamn hair off. And you know everybody can't wear the bald head. You don't seen them niggas with the bald head with all that meat and shit back in the back of their head. <laughs> head like a bunch of hot dogs back there. You be high as a motherfucker standing behind the I'll bite the shit out of this motherfucker. <laughs> I told my partner, pull all that meat back in a ponytail. <laughs> all the big head men, make some noise. Come on now, represent your clique. I'm sick of your ass going to the clothing store, trying it on shirts, you ain't got no business. Busting the neckline out the motherfucker. Then I go try the shirt on, it's hanging on my neck like a 20 inch gold chain. I'm in the mirror trying to see why my shoulder out and my nipple showing in this bitch. I look around, he busting on the... Get your big head ass out of here, I'm fucking up no folks, sir. Now, the moral of this story is, ladies, shape your baby head when they little. At least buy my helmet, goddamn. All the bad breath, motherfucker, kill yourself. I am sick of you walking up to me, making me waste good liquor, because your breath stank like a motherfucker. You need to walk around with some scope now, ladies, and some Listerine blow pops. They need to shoot your ass in the mouth with some hollow point breath mints. He still stank, shoot him again. You need to go to the dentist and get your neck pulled, motherfucker. And all you musty motherfuckers, set yourself on fire. You don't do them a fuck it up for me anyway, goddamn. Women come in the club to my ooh share, I don't know who it is, but right over there, them motherfuckers made my mascara run. <laughs> all the independent lady make some noise. Yeah, yeah buy a nigga a drink. Stop clapping then with your independent ass. All the lady that like good hard dick makes some noise. Yeah, I'm gonna be standing right by the bathroom. Now tomorrow this story, get in where you fit in, goddamn. <laughs> How many people watch porno film clap? Look, look around, some people didn't clap. Then the motherfucker with their VCR on pause right now. <laughs> and you know the difference between black and white porno film, right? Cause you know you don't watch the porno film too many times when you fast forward through the talking, the motherfucker be looking like the him. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. <laughs> and you know the difference between black and white, cause y'all don't know what the black movies ain't got enough money, or the motherfucker apartment they use finna come home. They don't even have no good names. It might be called Black Booties Volume 10. God damn. You know what I'm saying? They trip might come right on. That motherfucker be butt naked. Nuts hanging off the side of the bed. They come in crying to my, ooh. He said, what's wrong with you? I just lost my job. He said, don't worry about it. Be, give me something to fry. <laughs> now, white porno film did trip me out because the white women on the porno film be going off. They be hollering out some belligerent shit, letting her partner know that he hitting all the right spot. White woman on me talking about, oh, Kim, me, stab me. Hit me in the head with the TV. God damn. I love this cop. And the guy be so calm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you like this, don't you, Carol? <laughs> She be, oh, goddamn, Kim and Stanley hit me in the head with the teeth. Now, fella, you know, you can fuck a black woman and she ain't finna let you know shit. You can swing from your partner house and hit that ass. She'll still be trying to take it to my house. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, this nigga, uh, uh. Turn her ass over. She, hey, well, the white woman be got there. Oh, Kim and Stanley hit me in the head with the TV. You see, the, the black, the, the, the woman, the white man let you know when the scene finna be over. Yeah. He be doing the same shit. You, so, you see his ass from eight different angles, goddamn doing the same stroke from the right side with the leg up. <laughs> you like this cock, don't you, Carol? <laughs> uh, uh. 
Oh, I do the hair, if I didn't do it, I'm a little guy with legal. Oh, you like this cock, don't you care? Oh, oh, oh. And they don't show the lady no more, because she didn't cut a fool. Oh, Kenny Stabbing, him and Harry TV. They show his ass making them beautiful fuck faces to my. Yeah. Oh, sweating profusely. <laughs> you hear that word profusely? That nigga been reading, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But ladies, y'all know, when a man get ready to catch a nut, that motherfucker three times the ugliest he was, ain't he? You can look at him now, he catch a nut, goddamn, he be on them motherfuckers. I'm again, all right. I'm all right. Excuse me, I ain't mean to flop on your forehead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you, <laughs> Hey, look, I'm tired of y'all be easy, enjoy the rest of the show, peace.